Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Well, in this video, we'll talk Canada Express Entry System reached its end. Canada's Express Entry System stands as a beacon of innovation and opportunity in the realm of global immigration. Since its inception, this revolutionary framework has redefined the landscape of skilled migration, offering a streamlined pathway to economic prosperity and social inclusion. As we embark on a journey to explore the evolution and future prospects of Express Entry, it becomes evident that the system's resilience and adaptability are key drivers of its enduring success. In this video, we delve into the intricate tapestry of policies, trends, and socioeconomic dynamics that shape Express Entry, navigating the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead in 2024 and beyond. So to get all the information, pay attention, and watch the video through to the end. Through to the end, please hit like and subscribe and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming videos. So without any further delay, let's jump into the video. The Canadian immigration landscape has been a subject of intense scrutiny and speculation, particularly concerning the fate of the express entry system. In this discourse, we delve into the intricacies of express entry, exploring its resilience, adaptability, and future trajectory amidst a backdrop of global uncertainties, policy shifts, and socioeconomic dynamics. Express Entry, a cornerstone of Canadian immigration. The Express Entry system stands as a pinnacle of innovation in the realm of immigration management. Orchestrated by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IGE. Facilitating the entry of skilled workers it encapsulates three principal programs. The Canadian Experience Class, CC, Federal Skilled Workers Program, SUPU, and Federal Skilled Trades Program, PROCT Program. Through a meticulous points, based selection mechanism, Express Entry has streamlined the recruitment of talent, fostering economic growth and diversity within Canada. Navigating the COVID-19 pandemic. Unprecedented challenges and adaptive measures. The onset of the COVID-19 pandemic precipitated unprecedented disruptions in global mobility and immigration patterns. Nevertheless, Express Entry exhibited remarkable resilience, showcasing its adaptability in the face of adversity. Notably, the ARC-C's strategic interventions exemplified by the historic draw of February 2021, underscored its commitment to maintaining immigration inflows amidst challenging circumstances. Despite initial concerns, Express Entry persevered, albeit with strategic adjustments to prioritize certain streams and categories in response to evolving socioeconomic imperatives. Dispelling misconceptions, rethinking expectations and realities. Amidst prevailing uncertainties, misconceptions surrounding the vitality of express entry abound. However, it is imperative to debunk notions of its demise or irrelevance. Express entry remains a dynamic and integral component of Canada's immigration framework. Albeit subject to fluctuations influenced by multifaceted factors, such as economic trends, policy imperatives, and global events. Rather than succumbing to pessimism, stakeholders must adopt a nuanced understanding of express entries functioning, grounded in empirical evidence and informed analysis. Challenges and opportunities, charting a course forward. The evolving landscape of express entry presents both challenges and opportunities for prospective immigrants and policymakers alike. Notably, the sporadic nature of draws and the heightened competition within the candidate pool underscore the imperative for strategic planning and proactive engagement. Moreover, the imperative to align immigration policies with evolving socioeconomic priorities necessitates a recalibration of strategies and priorities within the express entry framework. Empowering stakeholders, knowledge, advocacy, and engagement. 
in navigating the complexities of express entry. Stakeholders play a pivotal role in shaping discourse, advocating for policy reforms, and fostering inclusive pathways to immigration. Empowering individuals with accurate information, resources, and advocacy platforms is paramount in fostering informed decision, making and promoting equitable access to immigration opportunities. Moreover, fostering dialogue between policymakers, advocacy groups, and immigrant communities is instrumental in fostering a responsive and inclusive immigration framework that reflects the diverse needs and aspirations of all stakeholders. Understanding Invitation Dynamics Balancing Categories and General Draws As the cornerstone of Canada's economic immigration strategy, express entry encompasses a diverse array of streams and categories, each vying for its share of invitations. The distribution of invitations between category specific draws and general draws presents a delicate balancing act for the immigration, refugees, and citizenship Canada RCK. While category, specific draws cater to specialized skill sets and strategic priorities, general draws serve as a broad-based mechanism for talent acquisition and diversity promotion. Historical Perspectives Insights from 2023 Invitation Trends The year 2023 witnessed a significant milestone in Express Entry's evolution with approximately 110,000 invitations to apply, ITAS, issued to prospective immigrants. Despite the challenges posed by the global pandemic and shifting socioeconomic dynamics, IRCAI demonstrated resilience in achieving its immigration targets. Notably, the economic pathway accounted for a substantial portion of IDAS, reflecting Canada's emphasis on skilled migration to drive innovation productivity, and economic growth. Anticipating future trends, projections and considerations. Looking ahead, projections for invitation allocation in 2024 warrant careful consideration and analysis. While the exact figures remain speculative, insights gleaned from past trends and policy directives offer valuable insights into potential trajectories. With a target of issuing approximately 90,000 invitations, ERCSI faces the daunting task of striking a delicate balance between category, specific draws, and general draws to meet diverse immigration objectives. Navigating the complexity, category, specific draws, and strategic imperatives. Category, specific draws play a pivotal role in addressing sectoral needs, promoting regional development and fostering inclusivity within Canada's immigration landscape. From agriculture and transportation to STEM and healthcare, each category serves as a conduit for talent acquisition and strategic investment. However, the distribution of invitations across these categories must align with broader socioeconomic imperatives and long-term growth objectives and long-term growth objectives. Challenges and opportunities. Implications for prospective immigrants. For prospective immigrants awaiting invitations, navigating the evolving landscape of express entry entails both challenges and opportunities. The prevalence of category, specific draws may necessitate strategic planning and alignment with targeted sectors to enhance eligibility and competitiveness. Moreover, proactive engagement with immigration consultants, advocacy groups, and community organizations can provide valuable insights and support in navigating the complexities of the application process. A call for transparency and engagement. Stakeholder participation and policy advocacy. As stakeholders in Canada's immigration ecosystem, prospective immigrants, advocacy groups, and policymakers alike play a pivotal role in shaping discourse, policy formulation, and program design. By fostering transparency, accountability, and stakeholder engagement, ARCHI can enhance trust, foster inclusivity, and promote equitable access to immigration opportunities. Moreover, proactive dialogue and collaboration can facilitate the identification of emerging challenges, policy gaps, and opportunities for reform within the express entry system. 
Express Entry, Debunking Myths and Projecting Trends for 2024 Amidst the swirling discourse surrounding Canada's Express Entry system, the specter of speculation looms large. As pundits and aspirants alike offer conjectures and predictions for the year ahead, it becomes imperative to sift through the noise and discern the underlying trends shaping the immigration landscape. In this video, we dissect prevailing narratives, examine historical data, and project potential trajectories for express entry in 2024. Dispelling misconceptions, challenging notions of score stability. In the echo chambers of social media, whispers abound that the express entry scores for 2024 will remain stubbornly anchored above the 500 point threshold. But whence do these assertions arise? Such proclamations defy logic and empirical evidence as the numerical data fails to substantiate such claims. As we navigate the early months of the year, characterized by lackluster draws and seemingly arbitrary selection criteria, it becomes apparent that speculation must be tempered with a dose of rational analysis. Unraveling the draw dynamics, parsing through January's anomalies, the dawn of 2024 ushered in a series of draws within the express entry framework, each shrouded in ambiguity and perplexity. January witnessed a trifecta of draws, ostensibly aimed at addressing provincial nomination streams, yet veering conspicuously away from the traditional contours of general draws. Speculation ran rife regarding the underlying causes of this deviation, with conjectures ranging from technical glitches to strategic recalibrations within the ear calibrations, within the RSA. Deciphering the glitch, unraveling the December anomaly, an enigmatic glitch that marred the express entry system in December cast a long shadow over subsequent draws, fueling conjecture and uncertainty among stakeholders. Reports emerged of discrepancies in French language score calculations, stemming from an outdated scoring algorithm that failed to align with revised standards. While ARC scrambled to rectify the anomaly, its lingering effects cast a pall over subsequent draws, hindering the equitable distribution of invitations. Anticipating a return to normalcy, projections for regular draws. Amidst the tumult and turbulence, Glimmers of hope emerge on the horizon, heralding the prospect of a return to regular draws within the express entry ecosystem. With the resolution of technical glitches and the gradual normalization of selection criteria, stakeholders dare to envision a resurgence of general draws that prioritize merit, based selection and diversity promotion. The resumption of routine draws augurs well for prospective immigrants signaling a renaissance of opportunities on the immigration frontier. Navigating sectoral priorities, the imperative of category, specific draws. Even amidst the flux and fluidity of express entry, certain constants endure, chief among them the prevalence of category, specific draws tailored to address sectoral needs and strategic imperatives. From STEM and healthcare to agriculture and transportation, each category represents a nexus of talent acquisition and economic investment, underscoring Canada's commitment to fostering innovation, inclusivity, and economic growth. Embracing Francophone Excellence, the indispensable role of the French category. As the embodiment of Canada's linguistic diversity and cultural richness, the French category stands as a beacon of opportunity for Francophone aspirants seeking to carve a niche within the express entry framework. With a steadfast commitment to promoting Francophone integration and linguistic vitality, ERC reaffirms its dedication to nurturing a vibrant and inclusive society that celebrates linguistic diversity and cultural pluralism. Conclusion. In conclusion, the trajectory of Canada's express entry system in 2024 remains a tapestry woven from the interplay of policy imperatives, technological exigencies, and socioeconomic dynamics. While challenges persist, 
Opportunities abound for stakeholders to engage in dialogue, advocacy, and collaboration to shape the future of immigration in Canada. By embracing transparency, inclusivity, and innovation, ARCC can reaffirm its commitment to fostering a dynamic and responsive immigration framework that reflects the diverse aspirations and talents of individuals from around the globe. That is all for today in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later in the next video. Till then, take care.